All right, hello everyone. So this video, I'm just gonna do a quick little unboxing type review of a card game, Better Than Yesterday, from the creators of What Do You Meme? I'm just gonna pull out a few of these, you know, uh, little life challenges. It says 365 daily challenges to live a more confident, fulfilling, and carefree life. Ages 16 and up, and you can have more than one player. It's just a card game. Better than yesterday. Um, hey stranger, fill the swear jar. Hmm. I'm just gonna take out one of the packs. The hey stranger, introduce yourself to someone new. Well, I don't know if I'll be doing that, but hey, that's a nice thought, huh? Um, also, I'm gonna uh, see what, what the cards say today. As always, this is for just entertainment purposes. Um, maybe these are for stepping out of your comfort zone, meeting new people, which, um, can sometimes be a little scary and when you don't you know I feel like when you're you know out in the world going grocery shopping uh, Christmas shopping I really think that this is something you need to do not just online um, you know what I mean especially that hey stranger meeting someone new but after all the true crime I've watched, makes you a little leery. And I can see that that's a pretty popular thing in our world. A lot of these true crime people have millions of... Uh, so, you know, there's nothing wrong with being kind, smiling, saying hi, you know. But uh, be smart. You know, it's kind of, that's kind of contradicting, right? It was like, don't talk to strangers. My parents always said, don't take candy from strangers. Don't talk to strangers. So, you know, I don't know that I'm going to do anything like that. Holy crap. There's a lot in here. Dear future me. Okay. Dear future me. Write a short letter to your future self. Fast forward. And picture your life 10 years from now. How does it feel? And what are you doing? You know, I think journaling is a lovely way, especially um, getting things out, especially if you have like a lot, you're in your mind a lot. Um, and even thinking of where you want to be, setting goals for life. And this might be something I might actually, might actually uh, do. Uh, and you guys, is, uh, whoever's listening, you know, maybe this is just, it's just for fun and entertainment pur purposes as always, right? Um, I'm going to play with my uh, poker deck. Anybody else like card games? Gin Rummy, Solitaire, Poker, Texas Hold'em. Those are, Gin Rummy used to be one of my favorites solitaire i just i've always enjoyed the shuffling of cards so there's your challenge that's what i split the better than yesterday deck in it's nice to have goals nice to think of where you will be one thing i have learned is uh Things don't always turn out the way you plan. But at the same time, if you sit around and do nothing towards, you know, the same thing can work regarding like whatever goal. And I'm going to use fitness and working out and weight loss and things like that or getting healthier um, as an example. Sometimes you need a, you need a plan, right? You plan. Okay, whoa, I got whole junk. Whole junk. Hmm. 
You got so looks like communication might even be text messages or online communication. But once again, um, this is hmm. Oh, someone lost their passion. Uh, this could even have something to do with um, no drive, no spark. Uh, someone might be kind of stuck in their head, like literally stuck in their head. But it looks like communication. It's writing it out, journaling it even. Um, journaling and writing, that's... To find your passion, maybe. This is weird. It'd be like writer's block. Like, you don't even know. Um, wow, feeling trapped and stuck. Not knowing which way to move forward. This is all in your head, though. These are thoughts. There, there might have, in the past, been some... Um, something was heartbreaking. Um, but you're, you've moved... This was past and it's like where do you move forward i mean we're at the end of the year reflecting on what it's been like and it's been kind of crazy and chaotic for everyone and i think that's the thing to realize is that everyone goes through things everyone gets stuck hmm feeling trapped um maybe it's about finances or where to where to put your money it's juggling that's why someone feels stuck not knowing what to invest in maybe even brainstorm out things that you are interested in and new hobbies uh skills um maybe this even has to do with maybe learning something new because it costs money Right? This is juggling thoughts and what to do. Oh, there's a lot of things, just sadness, depression. But it looks like it's moving out of that. This journaling will help you. Right now, there's no passion or drive. There might not even, might have something to do with libido and sex drive even. Hmm. Get, maybe um, look into your hor hormones, thyroid, your diet can really affect. Oh, there might have been a lot of, it's like a heavy burden and kind of drained. Like there's been huge fighting, like literal fighting that's left someone in feeling like they don't know where to move or go forward, move forward. This is a younger person wanting to take action, passionate. There's a lot of action. You know, just today, there is an Oracle deck and I had taken a video of the action card um, this is, I think the first stage, first step is this whole writing it down, writing a letter to your future self, brainstorming, uh, you know, where there's this juggling and feeling stuck, write the pros and cons. All right, let's see, I'm going to get... What's over here? I'm going to go back here to this, uh, maybe this past um, energy. Maybe, you know, you were trying something out and didn't work. But some past communication left you maybe uh, stuck online even or a, a message coming. Hmm. Anything else about the communication? It's about money, finances. This is a lot of money. This is someone who is at the peak, like money. 
That's business. Maybe even a business owner. But this would be at a very wealthy late, late, even being like the entrepreneur, the, you're not just like working for someone else. You want to, maybe it's even being your own boss, but this is, it's like already reached this stability financially. Maybe the, the message is coming in about money. That's a, that's, this is good. Financial, financially great. Wow. But, uh, there was fighting. It's like done with the fighting. This is maybe even why the passion is gone. Um, <sighs> no way. Now we got 79 here. Um, and cups, watery energy. This is illusion and looking at your options. This is where it, why the brainstorming and writing that letter to yourself needs to come through. Um, trying to come out of the illusion, right? It's like that's that whole writing down all these things. And sometimes goals we set. Have you ever tried doing something thinking that it would be something you loved or wanted to do? And it wasn't as uh, great as you had anticipated but Nine of Cups is like almost wish fulfillment. It's like, that's where you're juggling because you want happiness, emotional, love. You want to feel fulfilled with joy. You want to do, make the right choice. Hmm. And that, that where things are balanced and fair. Maybe this is even that you're receiving things that are fair and there's no more depression, anxiety. Um, oh my gosh, with a soulmate. Um, feeling like two peas in a pod. Feeling like emotional stability. Even this action, this young person. It's just a younger energy on the go. Maybe this is where there had been some heavy burden and fighting he looks pretty upset okay one more oh six of cups about the past trying to let go of bad memories of things from childhood even this is someone it's upside down so they were bad memories bad things childhood traumas um, I'm going to get another. This one says, I'm down, dog. This one looks like doing yoga. I'm down, dog. Do a session of guided yoga today. Yoga makes you more aware of your physical presence and centers your attention on the present moment. Well, I don't think you necessarily have to do yoga. I think stretching is great. Um... You need to be aware that yoga is a spiritual practice. And unless you're a Hindu, uh, you might want to, you know, you don't have to do these awkward, weird moves. And, uh, but hey. Stretching just, you know, is good. I personally don't like yoga. Sometimes, it, but I understand if it feels good to stretch. But a lot of those positions are awkward. Oh, weird. A good kind of awkward. Do something you think is awkward today. Speak up, ask someone out, etc. The more you go through awkward or embarrassing situations, the more you realize they have no effect on your worth. Wow. Okay, one final. And it says you're a limited edition. These are the better than yesterday. Get the party started. Yes, tea. Drink tea today. I've already done that. 
Uh, this one says, plus you won't get that caffeine crash later. Tea improves memory. I really like the tangerine, positive energy one, but uh, green tea. You can get a caffeine-free tea. Drink tea today. Tea potty. These are fun, though. Better than yesterday. How to slow down time. Do five minutes of planks today. Five minutes. Challenging exercise not only strengthens you physically, but also mentally. I didn't do planks today, but maybe I will. A 10-10 day. Approach a stranger and ask them what their perfect day looks like. Give someone a reason to be optimistic. This is about edifying and uplifting somebody else. And maybe you can borrow inspiration from their answer. Hmm. Okay, I see five stars. Write a glowing review of a business you like. A little bit of love can go a long way in helping a business you support. Hmm. Okay. Yesterday you said tomorrow. <laughs> Those are just some of the ones. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, so, as always, take it for entertaining. Maybe this gave you some inspiration of things to do. So remember, the 10-10 day, slowing down, a good kind of awkward, being awkward, and I'm down dog, downward dog. I mean... You just got to be careful with some of it and getting the tea party started. Dear future me. So it started with that. So I think that's the first step, eh? Planking, though. That sounds good. I don't know if I'm going to meet anybody new today, but um, maybe you will. So hope that helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.